what's going on guys, this is Servius's Masking Tutorial 1. Uh, before I get started, I want everyone to understand this is for uh, Sony Vegas Pro only and for beginners. Uh, for the intermediate SVP editors like uh, Meta, um, they already know like this this tool and I'm sure uh, quite a few other editors do. So I don't want any backlash for explaining a simple tool that helps you mask. Uh, but what we're going to be going over today is a BCC plugin that I use uh, to mask with motion. As you can see, like for example, Mata right here. Um, you know, he's moving his arm and everything, and it's like a perfect mask with my name behind it in an overlay. Um, it's very simple to do. Uh, I literally do it in almost all of my edits, and you can see that's how I bring different types of images together. Um, it's kind of like my unique style. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how it all works. So as you can see right here, I'm going to show you the first clip. The first clip is just a Tachi. He's just kind of zooming in and stuff like that. There's a, there's some motion in there, so you can. it's kind of hard. If you were to mask this regularly, it would be kind of hard. I want to show you that there is no masking on this clip at all. No, nothing's checked in here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add this plugin called BCC Linear Color Key. Uh, you have to download the BCC uh, plugin itself and install it to your Sony Vegas. Once you do that, go ahead and drag it onto your clip. The first thing that's going to happen is it's going to turn your screen black. All right. You're going to take the similarity. You're going to drag it all the way down. You're going to go to this key color tab, click on this syringe looking thing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the color that you want to delete. Now when I say that, it literally will delete the color that you want. So if I want to delete the red in this guy's eyes, I'm, well, okay, that was a bad example. If I want to delete this blue here, I just click on it and see how it changes the color. And I go to the similarity and see how it like slowly deletes it. Now it's, it's kind of hard to get like the perfect color match when it comes down to this, but I already, I actually uh, got the color that I need. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, oh, no, it's here. My bad. So see, I already have the color that I want, which is uh, th these coordinates here. And you just have to play around. you got to find the color that you want to delete. And it's kind of hard to figure it out, but it takes some, takes some practice. So I found the color that I want. So I'm going to go to the similarity. I'm going to delete it. So it comes down to it. Like, see how it like deletes basically the entire background almost. And then what you can also do is go to this post blur right here. And then it, it kind of adds like a feathery look to it. makes it look a lot more clear. See how it's like pixelated? It, like it looks, really, it looks really shitty, to be honest. So I take the post blur. And I turn it up just a little bit, not too much, because if you do it too much, it looks like, it just looks blurry. So just, I'd say somewhere around 20 to 30 is where you really want to be with most of your edits. And see how it adds this, like, perfect, like, line around him. So when, when we're moving, when we're moving here, it's, you know, I mean, it's perfectly, it's perfectly, uh, the motion is working where it doesn't look like it's too choppy. Because with regular masking, you can have that choppy look. So you see how it's smooth it looks. Um, you got to play around with this, and then some, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't understand is that you can take BCC plugin or the linear color key, and you can add it again. Uh, just do the same thing over again. So if there's a color that you couldn't get before, uh, just go down to the key, the key color after turning similarity down, and just find that color that you don't want. So I choose this this darkish blue up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to delete it. And look at that, almost almost perfect. A little bit of the hair it lost there, but nothing crazy. You can play around with the percentages. So like I'll go to 11. That kind of like fixes the air just a, or the hair just a little bit. I'll go down to 10, and look, the hair's their hair's fine. Just turn the post blur up, and then it's it's literally a perfect mask. Like if you just look at it, a little bit of grain at the top, not too bad. You can always work with that. And so what you could do is you could take an, an overlay, and you can add, or add a layer, and then now you have this really really clean, uh, like like for example this death layer in the background, or I can add something like like this. It, it could be anything. Um, and it, it, it's a very simple plugin to use. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but once you figure it out, it works really good. And I mean, as you can see here, like you can add, make it look all advanced and stuff. I like add, add your rotations to it, and just transitions, and it looks really super clean. And uh, I'm hoping this uh, tutorial helps you guys out. Uh, I know it was kind of long and drawn out, but it's it's something that I use in almost all my edits, and I'm pretty sure you guys can get used to it as well. Uh, and I hope you learned something.